Well, we made a final decision on what we're going to do with the greenhouse. I had to deal with different size panels. Beggars can't be choosers. And this slope is pretty severe. Kind of slopes off from the west all the way over here to the south. This is not going to be a permanent structure, so we don't have to be too careful. But we do want it level and we do want it square. I don't want to have to come in here and dig out a whole bunch of dirt. I don't want to have to come in here and put in a whole bunch of dirt. I think our first order of business is a level line in here. I was able to get my hands on some old treated 2x6s. That ought to work just fine for the footings. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than to be good. Now obviously to square this off, we're gonna to need to go corner to corner, corner to corner, but I'm not there yet. I wanted to get the level in here first. What I'm doing, this isn't gonna be permanent. If we go 12 by 12, it's going to take us to the empty right out into the new part of the garden. Well, let's see what we get. We're going to leave these bolts hand tight for right now. We still have to cut off the excess lumber and square it up. But that's step one. Next, we'll have to figure out the slope and work on the second step. And I think the roof's going to be pretty flat on this one. I don't expect a whole lot more snow this year. I'm going to cover that roof with plastic. It'll shed water. thing that we want to do we want to go ahead and make our base square and level and since I'm by myself we're going to try to use a couple tricks here and there we'll fall off in a clamp get us close gets easier as we get a little closer. So as you can get a nail in it, it gets a whole lot easier. Even building the greenhouse, you're going to need your fork pitchfork. And unless I measured that wrong, we're way out of square. But that's okay. I was just using that to help hold that up. a hard wall 16 feet 16 feet 12 feet two and a half 12 feet two and a half we should be pretty square 
So let me check corner to corner. We'll know for sure. I'm going corner to corner, so this will work. darn close. Well, we're getting there. This little slope is a challenge. We'll go ahead and get that filled in here in just a little bit. I'm gonna go have a cup of coffee. It only took a couple boards to fill in the gap. We are going to have to bring in a little dirt. I'm not going to fill this whole thing up and level it off. Probably about five inches down along that side. Got a little bit more to do right here, but we're good and level. All right, let's see how well I measured. Let's get that next wall in. Snug is what we're shooting for. Snug is what we got. down a little bit we got a little bow there but we'll work on that put a 16 footer across the front gonna have a little gap at the top I'm gonna match with this I'm gonna fill that in put another 12 foot there run a 16 footer across the barn put a couple rafters in I got to get a couple hangers and since it did not warm up today I think I'm about done but we're just about ready to wrap this in plastic and then put the roof on it. I think we're doing all right. All right, it is Sunday the 10th, and it is cold. It did not warm up today. I hope they're not getting too much snow down in Texas. We're coming along. Well, we got phase two done. We have to tie together the top, wrap it in plastic, put the roof on it, and a couple shells and we should be ready to start planting. Today's been cold enough I didn't even pull the plastic on the coal frames. I'm going to the house to warm this up and we'll be back at it shortly. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.